VAT hike, uh, Senate panel uh, summons finance minister and Fowler. You know, it's so unfortunate that this government, they speak in one direction and they act in the other direction. So do you see a contrast there? It's a contrast. Do you know the, the implication of increasing the VAT by 50%? Number one, the, it, what is VAT? VAT is consumer tax. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's from 5% to 7.2. 7. 7. 7. That yeah. is 50% hike. It's 50% hike. So what it says is that every good you buy, you are going to pay 50% more for that good. That is to say that it will reduce. It's like you have increased the, the, you've increased the minimum wage of the workers to 30000 it's like the devil is giving you with the right hand and he's taking with the left hand. You've increased the minimum wage of the people by 30%. And on the other hand, you are reducing their purchasing power by 50%. It's saying that, number one, if the people cannot buy goods produced, definitely it will affect the industries that are producing it. If the industries don't make enough money, they will have to, they have to lay off workers. It will lead to unemployment. It will lead to, it will lead to inflation. It's, it's, it's a very negative thing. So you cannot say you don't want to punish Nigerian workers and at the same time you are doing the opposite. It's like this government is confused. Mm. Anyways, we'll wait for uh, what this uh, Senate uh, summon will I hope the Senate. I, I hope the, the Senate will, 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 will not allow this go through. The, 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 the federal government gets 15% of the total of the, uh, of, the, of the money that is raised from VAT. There is two ways you can do this. Why can't the federal government reduce their percentage that they get from the VAT or increase the, 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 the VAT nest, mm -hmm. the VAT nest, so that they can, they can bring more people into the VAT net? By so doing, they will have more instead of increasing the VAT. So I think it's a, it's, a, it's a wrong policy in the wrong direction. Wow, points to note there. Uh, I'm just looking at this paper also. Uh, the top down part, rather, the bottom says, deploy women soldiers to fight insecurity. Aisha Buhari is saying that on page nine. From the top of my head, I'm wondering why uh, she's saying that. You will say what a man can do, a woman can do better. Uh, but is this a gender issue? No, 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 I'm, I'm just assessing. saying you will say what a man can do, a woman can do better. So, so is that? So if the men can fight, Insurgent, the women too can fight. It's not only when it is good that uh, you know you say what a man can do, a woman can do better. So in this case, I think she's she's right. You're sounding as if you um, it's just because it's women. But no, no, no. What in the man, technicalities? No, no, no. What they are trained. They have they have undergone through the same training. Okay, so that's the basis for. So that's the saying. basis. So what a man can do, a woman can do better. And here on the vanguard, it says presidential tussle. Atiku should apologize to Nigerians instead of appealing judgment. Lai Mohammed says. Well, these are political comments. You see, it's, Lai Mohammed, it's unfortunate that he has forgotten that he is a minister of information, not the APC spokesman. This man needs to be told that he should leave the work. Of, a, of an APC spokesman to the APC spokesman. But you and say he's a communication minister. He's a communi that is, he's not communi he's, this is not the work of a communication minister. A communication minister is supposed to bring the country together. 